the daddy of them all. 127th edition, Sunday fun day, short round. The dad, Cheyenne Frontier Day, short round, 2023. 85 degrees. Fixing to start hearing some anthem and some bucking horses loaded. Best time of the year. Today you're going to watch a day that Cowboys and Cowgirls tried just that much harder for. Because you see there's three buckles that are the most prestigious in the world. It's a World's Championship, it's an NFR Championship, and a Cheyenne Frontier Days Championship. But the road to the championship is paved with hardships. It's paved with obstacles. There's over a million dollars on the line today. So what do you say, Cheyenne? Are you ready? As we celebrate heritage, tradition, and celebrate cowboys and cowgirls, that's what it's all about today as we get ready to crown champions here in this historic arena. First time growing up in Australia I ever heard of Cheyenne Frontier Days was watching the movie Eight Seconds. I think when I was like five, uh, when I started wanting to get into riding bulls, I would watch that all the time. And I mean, of course, it's about Lane Frost and, and shows when he died in Cheyenne. Man, I was fortunate enough to come to Cheyenne as a little kid, uh, growing up watching my uncle Casey compete here, and uh, then later on coming here to the high school finals. and. Uh, Later on in my bulldog career, coming here as being 18, entering it, you know, and I thought that was the coolest thing ever to be able to come watch the dad, much less compete at it. I would say probably my first recollection of the Cheyenne Frontier Days would have to be when I was real little, like two, maybe three years old. Uh, we always watched rodeos and stuff, and I was a rodeo fanatic, so obviously I'd watched eight seconds and learned about that whole story and everything, and then to see the rodeo. On the TV, you know, in the summer, it was always sit down and watch that. So it's been a long, long time that I've been able to see it or hear know about it, I guess. You know, it's just part of the the monumental rodeos uh, that you hear about and watch growing up. It's here in Salinas and Pendleton, and you know, if you can be one of the guys to win one of those rodeos, I mean, they can never take it away from you. You know, your your name gets etched in the in the history books. As I got older, I was watching a lot of bull riding tapes of Tuff Hederman and Lane Frost and all them guys and the daddy of them all and that was the one to win. So uh, that was always a goal of mine to get here and to win, win the Cheyenne Frontier Days. I mean, from the time like I started rodeo, uh, you know, that's all I dreamed about. It didn't matter. So I thought I was going to be a bull rider, you know, rather than a bareback rider. But uh, just going and rodeoing for a living, trying to be a world champ, and then uh, obviously means all these big rodeos that you see. And I mean, Cheyenne being the daddy of them all is a pretty prestigious rodeo that you know about forever. You want one of them buckles, there, there ain't very many people that have them, you know. And the atmosphere here. You know, stands are packed, and and having to sit there in the box for 40 seconds till a calf walks to the line, or or a trip and steer, and there's just no no other place that we go all all summer that's like that. Dang sure revs your motor up a little more over here. 
Yeah, I'd say it gets easier every year, but it don't. Like, I'm still just as nervous today to run one than I was my first time. <laughs> There's a lot of variables that go into this deal here, you know, with the long score, the uh, the cattle, you never know which way they're going to go. And, uh, you know, you kind of got to cowboy up and just get the job done and trust your horse and your hazer. And hopefully it all lines out one more time. I remember going to Stetson's earlier that year before Cheyenne and he had won Cheyenne in 2019 and I remember seeing that that saddle there and that buckle and I just thought that was the coolest thing ever and I wanted one myself. Kai Hamilton from Mackay, Queensland. Two years ago the bull riding champion here in Cheyenne. When I was able to get that done in 2021, my first year here, that was the coolest experience I've ever had. Now it's time to get to business. It's the championship round here in Cheyenne, Wyoming. We're in Cheyenne, Wyoming at the Daddy of Mom. What's that? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Daddy of Mom. You know, folks, you're not just going to watch a championship round of any ordinary rodeo. Today, you're going to watch the championship round of the greatest show on earth. This is so cool, uh, you know. To split it, split it with Clayton and, and Kate Sonia is, uh, you know, obviously winning it outright is always really awesome. But uh, uh, it. Oh yeah, that's from the dad. Kind of splitting it with the three of us is something that's never happened in 127 years of the Cheyenne Frontier Days, and and it might not ever happen again. Who knows? You know. The daddy of them all, buckle and saddle, is uh, you know something I've always dreamed of, and you know when I uh, when I look back on my career, this would be something I remember forever. You see somebody at at a, at a restaurant somewhere, or, you know wherever you are, and you see a Cheyenne buckle, uh, it's automatic respect for that person. You've been to the rodeo, and you know how tough it is to win. When I won the Cheyenne Frontier Days in 2021, that was a check off the bucket list uh, rodeo. I always wanted to come here. I always wanted to win it. Cheyenne's just a whole different feel. You know, we've been rodeoing hard all the 4th of July and then everybody gets here and slows down. Almost everyone brings their family in here. and It's just so big and such an old rodeo, you know, like it just feels relaxing almost. But then at the same time, right before you get on, there's just this giant ball of energy because you're riding that Cheyenne. There ain't no better feeling than running one half across the arena, and which would be the normal length of one arena, you know, and getting down on the big fresh one. So it's pretty wild and uh, just a way to put it. Thank you. The money spins, you know, there's always something we got to buy, another horse or practice cattle or to me the tradition of it if you can walk away with a Cheyenne Frontier Days buckle you know there's only so many guys that can say that. Getting to have one of those buckles and tell your grandkids that you won the daddy of them all. 
you know, that tops that tops it for me. It's Cheyenne Frontier Days. The daddy of them all. It's the daddy of them all. It's the daddy of them all. It's the daddy of them all.